Hi, kindergarten. This April 22nd is Earth Day, so I wanted to do some fun little science with you this week related to our Earth. Mrs. Lazor is also working on some fun stories to read to get us still talking about the different life cycles of different animals that we'll see in the season of spring. So this week we're going to concentrate more on butterflies and the life cycle of them. And I know she has lots of fun stories and stuff for you to see. Uh, so I hope you enjoy those videos as well as uh, the little fun Earth Day activities this week. I am going to scan for your parents and it's just optional. You don't have to, but since Earth Day is coming up this week, this is a little Earth Day scavenger hunt that you can complete at home. It says you can find three different kinds of leaves to make rubbings with them. You could find three different kinds of flowers around your neighborhood as you go for a walk. You could draw them or you could take a picture of them. You could find at least um, two of the following. You can find interesting rocks, acorns, or pine cones. You could collect them. And you can also, if your parents let you, of course with a glove, you could pick up five pieces of litter or trash. And if possible, you could try to recycle them or put them in your trash can, all right? So this, again, is just something optional for fun if you want to get moving and get more active at home with your families. It's a fun little thing to do on Earth Day. We are going to play a little fun activity today together, and I'm going to kind of do it on my um, the door of my deck, so I hope you can all see. I am going to kind of zoom in closer as we play together so that you can get to see how we're going to sort these different pictures. So one picture that I have, boys and girls, is of a happy, smiley face Earth. Okay, this Earth is happy because people on Earth are doing things to keep the Earth healthy, okay? Good things for our environment make our Earth happy. I'm going to put that here. And then I also have things uh, on our Earth that wouldn't be good for our environment, and this makes our Earth sad, okay? It's a sad face because there's certain things that people can do to make our Earth sad or unhealthy, polluted, okay? So I'm going to leave that over here. And now we're going to get to sort together. I have a stack of cards and phrases that I'm going to hold up to the camera. And then you guys are going to help me sort. Would that um, picture be helpful towards helping our environment and keeping our Earth happy? Or would it be something that's bad for our environment and make our Earth sad? Okay? So I'm going to show you the first picture. And I'm going to read the phrase. And you guys can help me decide where does it go? Does it go on the happy side or does it go on the sad side of the earth? So the first picture says we're going to reuse bags. When we reuse something, that means we can use it over. We can use it again and again. We're not wasting it by just throwing it out right away. In the supermarket, boys and girls, you might see people getting or, or bringing their own bags so that that helps the environment because they don't have to keep taking bags and throwing them in the trash. So what do you think? Do you think that reusing bags would be good for our environment and make our Earth happy? Or do you think it would be bad for our environment and make our Earth sad? You're right, boys and girls. When we reuse bags and we can use them again and again, that's good for our, our environment and it makes our Earth happy. Very good. I'm going to stick that over here and I'll zoom in closer at the end as we sort all these out. Okay. What about this picture? I'm going to put a little piece of tape on it before I show you. You could see the factory smoke. See the smoke coming out of the little chimney there? And that smoke, boys and girls, is going into our environment, going into our air. Do you think that's good for our Earth? Is that making our Earth happy? Or do you think that's bad for our Earth? Is that making our Earth sad? Very good. It's making our Earth sad because it pollutes our air. And when our air is polluted, it's not clean, and it doesn't help us breathe in all the oxygen that we need, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that right here under the sad face earth, because that does not make our earth happy. Let's go to this one. This picture is of a little girl, and she's planting a tree. Do you think that that is good for our environment? Or do you think that that is bad for our environment? Which picture would I put this under? The happy earth or the sad earth? Planting trees. Very good. Planting trees, boys and girls, is very good for our environment. We don't want to cut down more trees. 
we definitely want to be planting more because that's what helps keeps our air cleaner. Very good. That goes definitely under the happy earth. How about this? This picture that I'm going to show you is a little spout, an out coming from that spout is water pollution. So when it when it rains and sometimes when things start to drain, different things can come out of that spout like dirt and soil and oil and stuff like that. So water pollution, do you think that that's good for our environment? Does that make our earth happy or does it make our earth sad? Any kind of pollution, boys and girls, very good, is bad for our environment. Oil spills and any kind of pollution, whether it be in the air, in the water, we don't want that for our earth. We want to keep our earth as clean as we can, and we have to do our part to take care of it, okay? So definitely water pollution, that would go under the unhappy uh, or sad face earth because it doesn't help our environment. Let's go to this one. This is a picture of a little girl, and she's turning off the light. So if you've ever done that in your house, you know that when you turn the lights out, usually you're going somewhere. If you're at home, you might be needing to turn the light on so that you can see better. But do you think that turning off the lights is good for our environment, or do you think it's bad for our environment? Turning off the lights is actually very good because it's not wasting energy. We don't want to just be leaving things on, especially if we're not there. Whenever you leave a room or you leave to go somewhere, you should be turning off all your lights because that saves energy and that is good for the environment. Very good, boys and girls. That goes under the happy face there. How about this one? This is one that I'm sure lots of you, I bet, help your parents do this chore at home. How many of you help pick up trash or litter? Do you do that? In every room in my house, there must be a little waste bath basket or trash cans so that wherever we are, we can throw out our trash. We don't want to just throw it in our bedroom or leave it somewhere to just be on the floor. We want to keep it in a trash can and then we'll throw it away on trash days, right? We keep it in a trash bag. So do you think that picking up litter is good for our earth or do you think it's bad for our earth? It is good. Very good. So it goes under the happy earth. Picking up litter makes our earth cleaner. How about this one, boys and girls? This is a dump truck, uh, truck, like a little trash truck, and they're filling up the landfills there. What do you guys think? The landfills, they're all filling them up with trash. Is that good? Not necessarily. We don't want all the trash to be going just to the landfill. We want to be recycling our trash as much as we can so that we can reuse it and we're not making so much trash. So this is not being that helpful, boys and girls. Even though there's some trash that we definitely need to throw away, we should be trying as much as we can to recycle, to reuse those materials again, so that we're not making our earth so polluted with trash. So this would go on the unhappy side. This is making the earth sad. How about this one? We kind of just talked about this. You're gonna notice a little boy putting something in a green can. And what he's doing, boys and girls, is recycling. Do you think this makes our earth cleaner and happier, or do you think it makes our earth sad? What do you think? Recycling. It definitely keeps our earth cleaner, and it makes our earth happier. When we recycle, we get to reuse those materials again, and we're not polluting our earth as much. So very good. Recycling keeps our earth happy. Do a couple more together so you guys can help me. You're doing an awesome job. How about this one? This is a means of transportation. The little boy is riding his bicycle and he's wearing his helmet. Is that good for our environment? It is, boys and girls. Is there any kind of pollution coming out of your bike? Is there any kind of like car exhaust or you know how we sell the steam from the factories uh, that was polluting the air? Is there anything coming out of the bike here? It's not motorized. It's just a bike, right? Well, motorcycles are different. They do have exhaust that comes out, but the bicycle does not. So you're just using your feet to pedal, right? That's not polluting our air. It makes our earth cleaner. So if you can, try to get somewhere by walking or by riding a bike, okay? Try not to always use a vehicle to get somewhere. It's great to go outside and just enjoy 
taking a hike or riding by bicycle, all right? So that's definitely making our earth happier. And the last one I'm going to ask you to help me with is this one. We see a trash can, but we also see lots of trash. Look, the banana peel. We see cans that could be recycled down here. Somebody just left them on the ground, right? We don't want to do that. We want to recycle those cans and containers if we can. And this can actually be used as compost. This banana peel, you could put it um, as compost and that makes your, uh, your soil more enriched. It kind of helps, gives it nutrients that it needs to help plants grow. So littering and not recycling does not make our earth happy. You want to make sure to recycle and uh, keep your trash to a minimum by buying things that you know can be recycled, all right? So that would definitely not be making our earth happy. Guys, you did a wonderful job today of helping me sort out all these pictures. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see how you helped me. And when thinking about um, doing things for the earth, remember, you want to make good choices. You want to try to recycle and not litter. You also want to try to ride bikes more and not pollute the earth by riding car in cars all the time. You want to make sure you turn off those lights. And it's also helpful to not run your water as much. If you're brushing your teeth, try to just turn that water right off when you're done brushing those teeth. Don't waste water by taking long, long showers or filling that tub up all the way. Try to limit your water. Try to turn off your lights to save energy. And remember, the more you care about the earth, the more you'll help keep it healthier, happier, and cleaner. I'll zoom in now to let you guys see the hard work. Great job.